All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more Black Desert. My name is John, and today we got some news on new crystals coming to the game in the near future. And basically, it's an upgraded version of an Elkar. And as you guys know, Elkars give, um, I believe, 12 accuracy with 10% uh, ignore resistances. And the upgraded one is going to be uh, 20 accuracy. So if you have two of them, that's a total of 16 extra accuracy, which is actually pretty huge. And um, for all of you endgame players who are looking at accuracy as an upgrade for uh, PvP and or very high end grind spots, you'll know that getting like 30 accuracy, trading off a little bit of AP for like one accuracy accessory, it's actually very expensive. Like at the pen level, getting 30 accuracy is probably like 150 billion silver. So an extra 16 from the upgraded is actually a very important thing. But if you are a pve -er and generally 99% of the time, it doesn't matter. But anyway, um, I wanted to go over my crystal setup, and this is going to be version 3. And I have two other versions on the channel, which you guys can watch as well. But I made some changes for all of them for PvP and PvE and bosses for all of you who do the boss splits as well. So, yeah, as you guys can see over here, this is the PvE, PvP and all everything so let's go over all of them and don't worry if you don't have all 10 slots that's fine just adjust your crystals accordingly but i actually do a little bit of everything in this game so let's talk about it let's go down each one so for pve i am personally in the end game areas where i feel like i need or it's actually better for me to have both of these uh alukas and akrod one the glorious crystals and what that actually does is it's not that I think that the human damage actually work like it it's good, but it's not an overall good. The reason why you use it is because you get the extra 1% attack and casting speed. So that actually just is more helpful than most stuff in general. So over the time, I actually the upgrades we got was obviously the Gearins tier. We have all three of the big like donut crystals that you know okay so this is a little off track but i really have been enjoying that the event that's going on now where there was no crystal loss on death it allowed me to try out a lot of new grind spots like doing all those dekia things zero shot i would be doing it if we had crystal loss right now and um it allowed me to try it and confirm that i can't do it yet so yeah it's awesome so i really wish that the no crystal loss would be like a permanent thing. And I understand both sides of why they don't do it. But here's how I would do, do this. So what they would do for your crystals. One, they don't break. But two, if you do die, they should add a durability just like your gear. Like, you know how when you enhance and fail gear, durability goes down. So when you have durability on your gear... What you would do is like repair it with either um, like mem frags or you use the same crystal to power it up again. So I think that would be a very good compromise because losing a 5 billion silver crystal, it it actually does feel bad. And it's like for me, it's a few hours, but being able to get the crystal itself is the pain. And uh, yeah, it's very difficult. So I just wish they would have like, a, we're talking about like a middle ground of we can't have too many crystals sitting on the market versus, you know, we don't want them to just disappear. So I heard console has it because like, you know, uh, console lag or something. That's what I've been told. So they just don't have crystal loss. But I think if you just added a durability and if the durability on your crystal reaches zero, it's almost like you're not using it. You just don't lose it. So I think that would be a good trade-off. You have to repair your crystals on death with the same kind of crystals. So, like, yeah, it gets expensive. Um, but, yeah, I just don't want to lose it. Anyway, side rant over. Um, back attack is actually really nice along with um, the extra AP against monsters. So these are the ones with the land of the morning light, which I think are very important. Same with this Gearins tier. That one is just a PVE uh, increased um, 
damage against monsters and drop rate, which is very huge. And then the new Macalods actually good. Back in the day, I didn't really use Macalods because it just wasn't really relevant. But now that the ultimate version came out, I think it's worth using. So for PVX, um, I actually, in my older videos, it was a discussion of what PVX meant. So here's how I assume what it is. So like, let's say you're grinding. It's for PVE and PVP. So that means like if you are grinding and you have to defend your spot, this is a crystal setup for balance. Like it doesn't mean like 1v2. That would be like a 1vx. So PVX like player versus player and player versus environment combined. So that's a little balance of um like being able to duel for spot which i actually honestly I don't have that much of those these days and um the difference between this one and this one is i have more accuracy for um pvp and over here accuracy on vipers more accuracy on l cards which are going to be updated in the near future um special evasion because that is a pvp crystal and of course i have uh, damage against humans, which is power, which I believe I have that here too, but this is like the flex spot that I think you can change. And then of course we have double crystals, which I have it the same thing. So it's good for both, uh, PVP and PVE. Um, the Giren's tier, uh, you could replace this with, if you don't have it, you could replace it with any other defensive or offensive crystal if you want. And that's cool. Uh, for bosses, this is mostly for boss splits, but I have used it in grinding. And, like, realistically, the difference between the PvE and bosses is uh, Mysterious Darkness Crystal, which is back attack damage and uh, accuracy, versus uh, critical damage. And you take more damage with these, but um, this one is back attack damage, and when you stack it, it just does kind of a lot, <laughs> actually. And in my testing, I've actually cleared... Uh, Calamity 6 and honestly 7. I've noticed a difference. Some of them for Dark Knight is just kind of hard. It's not impossible. Um, but like it actually saves a lot of time. So I think it's worth it. And uh, the tier for this one, I do believe extra damage against monsters is helpful um, along with the other stats on the side. Monster damage reduction in high end boss splits doesn't really matter because like it's more mechanics based and so if you don't know the mechanics you're just going to die so that damage reduction is not helping you it's just the extra ap against it and all stats on the side so that's what i have um xp is just xp whatever you have if you're a new player you probably have a lot of these adventure crystals and um the difference is these are 10 percent. these are 20 percent uh, the 20% are the ones that they give out more nowadays from playing season characters and or events. So chances are you probably have a bunch of these as well. And over time, I'm just going to replace the 10s for 20s and that's about it. And of course, the Giren's tier is here for the extra... Uh, where, where is it? The 75%. That's huge. If you don't have one, just add another crystal for that. So yeah, like all four of these, if I lost this crystal, that's just like pain and suffering. Um, this is one for life skill. It's more of a work in progress because I don't actually know what I really want. So right now I'm working on gathering, but then I know that I'm going to work on something else for now. But I think the relevant crystals for like, you know, whatever you do, um, aside from the mastery and XP crystals that came out with the morning light, um, things that I think are important for gatherers is one durability resistance. So whether you have your gathering tool branded and or not, um, this will allow you to gather longer. So 10% times two, 20% durability resistance. You can gather longer without repairing. Uh, most people have a tent these days, so it's less relevant, but I mean, it's still nice to have, um, max energy plus 10 times two. This is actually a secret. It's not really a secret tip. It's just a tip I can give all of you. So if you have this, you have 20 extra energy, right? So let's say I have 556. And then if I put this set on, I have 576. Now, chances are most of you guys don't play all your characters, right? So if you put the crystal preset on your characters, 
that you aren't playing when you're not on them the total pool goes up to the plus 20 with them and so like let's say you only use it for night vendor or buying potions or something if that 20 pushes you up into the 50 or a next bracket that extra 20 it does carry over as long as your other characters have to preset on so maybe you knew that maybe you didn't now you know um but other than that like the more weight if you need it um max energy durability and then everything else should probably either be xp or mastery of whatever you do so going into the pvp crystals um we have the full damage build and uh i honestly sometimes it feels fun but sometimes it's like you're just a glass cannon so depends on who you're fighting really that's why we have like four different sets of that so this one is straight up just glass cannon full damage and extra damage time to humans times two uh two vipers uh two red spirit crystals of more human damage and hp or ap and then karmes for more um human damage and then more human damage and then all of this so yeah basically glass cannon and then we still have to have accuracy on the side and as well as special attack evasion which is you know just pretty standard for pvpers um we have in our we have a defensive uh, i wouldn't say this is evasion but it's just more like you feel tankier whether you're dr or evasion so we have four ultimate hooms um which actually you do notice a difference in terms of everything and over here we have your standard special evasions l cars and then here we have the damage reduction and evasion so i think for all of you defensive players or let's say you just have a tanky build play style in general um these two crystals of frozen bitterness are nice and we have a purple donut crystal also the five billion one and this one is just a defensive option which gives 200 extra hp which is actually pretty huge so losing the purple crystal, in theory, you shouldn't because you're using it for PvP and you don't lose crystals there. But um, overall, I think that 200 HP and all these stats for defensive is really huge. It's definitely um, something you should look into. And finally, we have a resistance crystal just because like, generally in PvP at high end, the way it works is... Whoever gets CC'd first, you know, like if you get knocked down, it's over. Um, that's the way the game is balanced. Does anyone like it? Not really, but it is what it is. So that's the defensive build. Um, here we have accuracy. Basically, your standard build that you, th I think that most PvPers will use in your general stance. So the reason why we have this one is we have an adamantine times two. If you don't want adamantines, you can swap it out for like a giant or like other crystals. Stun, stiffness, freezing. I think when I PvP a lot, the most common CC that people try on me is knockdown because that is the it's a, it's a really good one. So that's why I have two knockdown resist crystals, and usually it works out pretty well. And then we have the red red crystal over here, and this one like. Sometimes it feels like the red crystal is like a hybrid of defensive and offense and PvP and PvE. So I'm just kind of wondering what purpose does this really have? And I think that it does add a little bit of damage in offensive, but like overall, if you compare it to the purple one, uh, I do think the purple one is just significantly better, but... If you want a mixed balance of survivability, resistances, and just damage, I think that one's okay, which you can actually get these off the market, but not the other two. So I think this is the setup that most people will be using in PvP in most cases. So yeah, just like a mix of accuracy, your standard crystals. Um, people might trade out the red spirit crystals for something else, but realistically, I think uh the ones that people would swap out are probably if you don't if you're like a class like a wizard or witch and you could just teleport out and you don't get cc'd 
they would be replacing these two with like i don't know more damage or something so yeah this is an important one this is the one i tend to use the most in pvp but uh yeah next we have our pve defense and this is more for um i guess more like higher end area so when you saw me grind the dekia spots this is what i used and we have to have a little mix of balance of damage as well as survivability and so we have the purple crystal here we have four hooms and then i think that you might be better replacing the corrupted crystals with um mysterious ones here because with these you your damage reduction you take more so i think just having an overall like more accuracy versus damage reduction is a little bit better for like a defensive style crystal setup so yeah you could replace these two corrupteds and then you'll probably be fine and then we added one frozen bitterness here and that's about it so that's the defensive one i don't use it too often but like when i'm trying new areas like when they introduced dekia i think this was important and this is a new tab just in general for like more resistances plus damages and everything so this is pve um if i were to switch it for pvp i would change out this crystal and maybe take out the uh yeah, the monster damage Ock Rods and replace it for something else. But I use this more at Ash Forest. Like, it's not that I can't grind with the standard um, spot, but at Ash Forest and higher end spots where if you get CC'd, it's actually dangerous. Like, um, uh, Crypt of Resting Thoughts, that one is kind of scary, actually. Dekia is kind of scary. And so... Adding these resistance crystals is very important. Knockdown immunity, well, not immunity, but resistance is pretty nice. Um, I put mysterious crystal or mysterious darkness crystals in here just because I think back attack is actually pretty good. And so everything else is pretty standard. So yeah, that's been my crystal setup. It's updated and these are actually what I use for everything. So hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I um, just want to say thanks so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And before we head out, I want to make a quick mention that until August 16th, our support a creator code is still running. So you see it on my channel or on the screen. Uh, so if you're thinking about checking out the game or upgrading your edition of the game. So like if you bought the standard one and you're thinking about upgrading to the like whatever collector's edition, um, use my code along with if you are thinking about uh, purchasing any a coins right now uh n you could support me as well and i get a small portion of what you spend as well so yeah i guess if we look at the cash shop real quick before i head out there's actually a bundle and if you're thinking about getting one of these two um now is actually the good time because you get some extra rewards along with it so if you're gonna do it cool and if not that's all good with me i just want to say thank you for watching and i hope my videos are informative and even if you're a free-to-play player, that's cool with me. And I just hope everything helps you and all these videos help you improve your game. So thanks so much for watching. I'm out. I uh, will see you tomorrow. Peace.